mystery camping package. Let's go open it. Bubbles! The Coleman Camp Oven. What can we make in this lovely? Oh, it's kind of heavy. Let's see what's inside. We got a rack, instructions, and the oven. And oh my goodness, what a tiny little, easily packable size. First step, unlatch top and bottom catches. Oh, I see it. Okay, unlocked. Pull front and back apart. That bottom pivot down into position. If you look inside here, you can see the, this must be the bottom piece. Lift hinge top into place. If it's just this easy, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, let's open it. I think these might have been. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's redo that top bit. So I didn't actually have the little nubbins into the opening grooves of the side wall in the base piece. So I needed to fix that so they line up. So right down these little nubs. And then we will pull this up and make sure that these in little spots connect in all four corners, then latch. And we forgot to latch the bottom, which is in the front. And latch. Open. <laughs> Not like that though. <laughs> like this, because it sits on those in the nubbins. Bottom, obviously, get closer to the heat. It's pretty neat though, because you can adjust it pretty easy because the sides fold out just a smidge to get them to snap in. <laughs> heat indicator. That's locked. Rough size estimate. Here we go. 11 and a half by um, 12. By, oh yes, let's not forget this one. 11 and a half. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. And this pie pan is nine inches. So a nine inch pan would fit in there easy. Snowball enjoying the camp oven box. While it's still clean, let's take it down and see how long it takes us. So, when you take the rack out, they show it going and moving like to the front. Then you take the top down, gently. <laughs> Put the pull the thing up, sides in, latch, latch. Then it's all in one easy piece. So one thing to know is it's not that light. It is, it is almost seven pounds. Uh, since we're not actually camping, but we want to test this out, we are going to bake some cinnamon rolls. Um, the great thing about Trader Joe's um, cinnamon rolls is they are plant-based and delicious. We'll be cooking at 350 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so we are going to heat the oven slowly to 350. We'll start it on two, which is pretty low. Oh, it's already getting warm. Let's start a timer and see how long it takes. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm confused. I just, okay, the outside number is Fahrenheit, inside Celsius. So it actually gets up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. We are at 225 and it has been nine minutes. Be very careful. This, the outside is obviously metal, so it's gonna be very, very hot. Um, we are almost there, and we, it has been 23 minutes. We are gonna go ahead and stick these in. Um, the knob's not terribly warm, hot, but it's warm. Woo, I can feel the warmth. Okay, shut that bad boy up. Okay, so this was 19 minutes. We put it in for a little bit before it hit 350. 
So let's get looking to see if it needs more time. Mm, I'd say let's give it another minute or two. Was the extra two minutes? Let's give it a try. Oh, those look good. These look delicious. Nice. One for you. One for me. Cooked really good all the way through. They're gonna be delicious. Hey, let's give it a try. It looks great. Mmm. Really good. I think that the consistency is just the same as if we had cooked it in the oven at home. Next time we'll have to try an apple crisp or maybe a peach cobbler when we're camping. That should be fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.